Hey guys, just going to do a little uh, chainsaw review for you. I have four different saws here and I'll walk you through them here in a second. Let me just tell you my experience, okay? Uh, I've got a little bit more experience than the uh, normal homeowner. I've owned my own uh, tree service for five years now and I'm a certified arborist so I do all the climbing myself and everything and use these saws. So. I have plenty of experience with all these saws and if you have any questions or anything on them feel free to call or I call sorry feel free to ask on the comments or anything let me walk you through what I got here all right so what we got is a Husqvarna 460 rancher it's got a 24 inch bar on it they uh, still MS 170. It's got a 16 inch bar. A Poland Pro 50 cc. It's got a it's got an 18 inch bar on it. And a Echo. This is a tree climbing saw. It's 14 inches. It's top handle, and it's got the the bracket for to hook onto your belt when you're climbing. So I want to do a video for you all because. There's a lot of difference as far as how good they are in price range. These are all kind of different size saws, but just gives you an idea. I like to have you know, all different varieties of size. That way, no matter what I'm doing, I have the saw for what I need it for. Okay, so the big Husky up here, that was 550 bucks for it. It's $200 for the steel, $200 for the Poland, and three or three fifty for the echo it was a little little more expensive now as far as brand okay if you're just wanting a cheap saw something a little bit bigger this this chainsaw usually comes with a 20 inch bar on it i couldn't find any replacement chains so i switched down to an 18 inch bar so i could have uh, chains more readily available this is a good saw for a 20 inch saw it's 200 bucks brand new they they run pretty good, but the problem I have with them is I use them a lot, all year long. And this only lasts me about two years, and I have to go buy another one. And I've, I, that's what I did when I first started out. I bought these saws because they were so cheap. And I've got like five of them in the building that are no good. These little stills, these are good for you know medium to small trees. Still is a really good brand. They're good saws. They're the most expensive saw but they're good saws. Now, if you don't have the money for a saw, for a steel, Husqvarna is, my opinion, the best saw you can get. This saw, if it was a steel, 24 inches, it would be like a thousand or eleven hundred dollars. This one's 550. Exact same thing. I have no problems with Husqvarna. They're good saws. They, they last forever. They're good saws if you want to get into them. Still, if you got the money, Husqvarna, if you want a cheaper saw that's still, you know, pretty close in comparison to still quality, Husqvarna's the way to go. Now, I've been seeing these, being seeing these in the market, they've got bigger saws. I don't know anything about the bigger ones. These are good little saws. They have a lot of power. This thing's got more power than the still does. And I've cut a lot of big trees down to this thing. Now, they do pretty good. The only problem I have with Echo is the oil sometimes doesn't oil the exactly the way it should and you have to turn it up a little bit. Now, they're good saws and there's a design flaw, at least on this. I'll get down here and show you. The top handles goes down and is mounted to the gas tank and they don't sell the replacement part for the gas tank. So, if you're like me, I'm really careful with them, but I had a worker once that got it jammed up in the log, got it pinched, and it was jerking the piss out of the handle and broke the gas tank off. Well, for 350 bucks for a chainsaw that you can't replace the gas tank if you break it, man, that's rough. So I've got one sitting in the building that works fine, works perfect, but the gas tank's broke. So that's the only thing I do not like about this thing is that design flaw. And to me, that's a big one. If you don't sell a replacement part for it, I don't want it. But also, the steel is like 500 bucks for this thing. So, you know, 
it's give and take. You want a little cheaper or you want a little better sole. It depends on what kind of money you got for it. But they're good soles for that one anyway. I don't know about the bigger ones or anything power-wise or anything like that. So, my opinion, if you're just going to look for go buy a sole, I'd go with Husqvarna myself. I like them. They're good, good quality. They're affordable. And they got plenty of power. If you want the the best there is and you don't care about spending money, still is the way to go. If you just want something like a like a homeowner or something, you just you just trim, you know, once a year, twice a year or something, just little stuff, go with pole and they work fine, they work good. I've used the fire out of them for years. They work good and they're so cheap that once you break them, throw them away and go buy you another one. So if it lasts you two, three, four years and then you have to go buy another one, you save pretty good money compared to you know a little more expensive and a lot more expensive if you want something size wise you know I would stick with like a 20 inch if you're just a homeowner or something you know if, you, if you're logging or you're a tree climber or something of course you already know you pretty much need all these sizes it doesn't seem like it but you need a big saw I need a bigger saw but I couldn't afford it you need at least a 24 inch you need a little 14 inch to climb with and at least a 16 or an 18 that's about what I got. I just want to do this review for you all that way. If you're, you know, thinking about homesteading or off-gridding and you're thinking about, you know, cutting trees and you're, you're budgeting and you're trying to figure out, you know, which soils, which soils are the best, you know, what, what you should look for and all that stuff. You know, if you have any questions or anything, like I said, I've got plenty of experience with these chainsaws. I've used the other ones. I, I don't have any of them on me right now because, you know, Usually I try to fix them, and if they don't, I can't fix them or find parts, I just get rid of them, you know. But if you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks.